What's up guys? Just a quick video showing you guys some of the pairings that have that we had uh, had locked over the weekend and uh, it's time to separate them actually or check up on them and uh, to, to separate them so hopefully they are already separated hopefully we shall see all right so this one looks like they are done this one is a spot nose sapphire to a lesser female so let me go ahead and grab him put some water in her tub and get to the next one okay so this next one is the banana huffman mojave hypo head clown to a pewter head clown i've done this pairing before in the past last year and I produced uh, some amazing animals, but I wanna go ahead and do it again because I'm trying to go for a male visual clown, 100% head hypo, um, to hopefully replace the dad um, in the future because I would rather have a visual clown head hypo um, because I do have a lot of uh, head clowns. So that way it'll increase my chances on producing more clowns in the future, so. Yeah, let me go ahead and put this uh, these animals away, the male, and uh, we'll get some fresh water in there and uh, get them fed in the next couple of days. Okay, so this next one is a G-stripe to, it's a pastel lesser G-stripe female and uh, to a Lesser Huffman Banana Head G Stripe. So trying to produce more G Stripes here. So let me go ahead and put their, separate them, put some water, and make sure that the tub is clean. Okay, so the last one is this pewter female and I put the Mojave special Enchi in there uh, that's a crystal Enchi and I've actually put her in uh, with two two males my original one that I really wanted her to go with it was the is the Huffman Huffman uh, Mimosa so this is kind of an intermittent in, in between kind of pairing kind of a maybe you get a double clutch or a double sire clutch uh maybe not uh but i just want her to keep going as far as um uh, follicle growth you know moving forward into the breeding process and hopefully this will stimulate her to grow her follicles more and then uh, probably her last uh, couple of locks I'm just gonna keep it with the Huffman uh, it's just uh, unfortunate that the Huffman Mimosa was actually in shed so I didn't uh, put him in there so there you go okay so for those maybe wondering what I'm doing uh, my process uh, when I pair, I usually take out the water out. Um, I, I, I leave the water bowl, but I empty the water out. And um, this one looks like she's actually going into shed. Uh, if you can see that, that ghostly eyes right there. She's going to shed. Um, she wasn't in shed or going into shed when I paired them. So uh, I just, they were there for a couple of days. So she started uh, going into shed as soon as... Uh, they were done pairing, so I misted the the tub to make sure that there's enough humidity in there, uh, so that she can have a good full shed. And hopefully, it's a good sign. She has been eating a lot, and she's always been kind of a mean and nasty, but that's okay. That means they just eat well. But yeah, there you go. That's pretty much it as far as how I pair. I put the male in there take the water bowl out, leave them there for uh, a few hours, check on them. And then uh, if I see a lock, 
I leave him be for another day or two, just keep checking on him once a day. And if I don't see a lock, I usually just uh, wait a few hours and, uh, or, or actually I wait one day and if I don't see a lock and they're on opposite sides of the, the, the tub, that means either the female is really not receptive or the male is not interested in breeding. Uh, so what I do is I just uh, take the male out uh, instead of getting stressed out. I just put him back in his tub uh, and I leave the female be. So yeah, this girl caught that yawn there. So, all right guys, if you guys have any questions on breeding, pairing, you know, feel free to comment down below your questions. Would love to answer any of them. Um, uh, for anyone that's interested in any animals available, also you can just directly message me uh, on Instagram, Facebook, or text message me or also comment down below. So appreciate you guys' support. If you guys haven't done so, please hit that like. Uh, if you guys enjoyed and uh, this, this video has somewhat given you some information to help you in your project. And if you guys enjoy these videos, please subscribe so I can go ahead and help out. You can help out the channel by uh, this, your subscription and I can put out more content. All right guys, till next time.